Hank Bauer, who walked to open this last half of the ninth inning. The line working to Mickey Mantle on the 2-0 count. Delivers to him, and Mantle swings and doesn't get it. Two balls and one strike. Mantle, who yesterday unloaded a bases loaded home run, Grand Slammer, to be the fourth man in World Series history to do, to turn the trick. It's the guy at the plate right now. Two balls, one strike is his count. The pitch to him is a curveball, swung on, and hit down the third baseline. Cox comes in in a big hurry, can't pick the ball up, all hands are safe. And it goes a base hit for Mickey Mantle. A slow tapper down the third baseline. Billy Cox came in, had just one ghost of a chance to make the play, tried to pick it up, and by the time he did get the ball, it was too late. So the winning run has been pushed down out of second base. That is the fourth hit registered against the pitching of Levine. Now the Yankees have three runs on 12 base hits. Their winning run in Bauer is on at second base. One out in the last half of the ninth inning. And the batter coming up is Billy Martin. He's sort of been on a rampage in this series. He cracked into a double play, however, in the seventh inning. Doubled to right in the fifth. Line to left for an out in the third. And was a base runner in the first on an error by Gilliam. Right-hand hitter takes a curve that's over to knees for call strike one. That's sure if Levine gets out of this now. It'll be something akin to the tricks of Houdini. Got plenty of trouble here in the last half of the ninth inning. Runners at first and second. And one out. Score tied at three apiece. Levine delivers. Martin swing. Hits the first to the middle for a base left. Here comes Bauer. Turn around third. He's in the score. The Yankees are world champions once again.